Celebrities that are members of the Church of Scientology have a tendency to court controversy, and John Travolta is no exception. Strangely mispronounced names, feuds with Tom Cruise, keep watching to see the shady side of John Travolta. It was a moment of Oscar's infamy that will go down with the likes of David Niven expertly getting a laugh at the expense of an opportunistic on-stage streaker and the confusion around the Best Picture Award for Moonlight. At the 2014 Academy Awards, John Travolta got on stage to introduce Let It Go singer Indina Menzel. But there was audible confusion when Travolta declared that Adele Dazeem would perform the song. What makes this bizarre moment even stranger is Travolta's reasoning for messing up the Frozen singer's name. In an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, he blamed the mistake on being starstruck by the sexy, beautiful Goldie Horn and her amazing lips while hugging and loving her up. Not only was getting Menzel's name completely wrong embarrassing, but it was inappropriate to blame it on his supposed lust for another actor. Since 1975, John Travolta has been a prominent member of the highly controversial Church of Scientology. But if insider dissidents are to be believed, his authority within the organization seems to extend far beyond the powers of most religious groups. There are rumors that Travolta has reached a high rank within the church, which allegedly enables him to act like the mob boss he has portrayed on screen. In an interview with the Daily Beast, ex-Scientologist Jeffrey Augustine made some alarming claims about the power Travolta wields within the the church. Augustine said that Travolta has a dark side and he's reckless. He alleged that the actor's status within Scientology has enabled him to remain blissfully unaware of the numerous abuses that have reportedly occurred. Augustine revealed, People at his level never see the ugly side of the church. Plus, he's got Scientology's Office of Special Affairs as his own private mafia if he gets into trouble. These claims appear to have been corroborated by other ex-Scientologists. According to Leah Remini, Travolta can get away with murder due to his special title of Kakan. Remini told Joe Rogan, You can kill another human being. If you are Kakan, you're going to look the other way. In the late 80s and early 90s, the Look Who's Talking movies provided a vehicle for John Travolta and Kirstie Alley to show off their palpable chemistry. It seems that their rapport was down to more than good acting. The pair, who are both Scientologists, became very close, and according to Ali, they may be more than just good friends. In a 2018 interview, Ali alleged that she and Travolta sort of fell in love with each other and were tempted to embark on a tryst, only foregoing an affair due to her loyalty to her then-husband, Parker Stevenson. Although Ali insisted that they never slept together, she said their relationship was even worse than an affair because of how deeply she was in love with Travolta and how long the infatuation lasted. The Cheer star added that Travolta only resumed his relationship with Kelly Preston when it became very apparent that their flirtations would not lead to anything steamier. However, Ali hinted to Howard Stern that Preston remained suspicious about the nature of the pair's relationship. Tragically, John Travolta's 16-year-old son, Jet, died in 2009. Jet was believed to have suffered a fatal seizure. Following the youngster's untimely passing, Travolta refused to discuss that his son had autism, leading to intense criticism from autistic advocacy groups. Eventually, Travolta did concede that his son was autistic. As former Scientology minister Bruce Hines has said, the revelation was particularly controversial. He told CBS News, Scientologists believe that the only reason a person can get ill is because they are in some way connected to a suppressive person, and a suppressive person is someone who is opposed to Scientology. When interviewed on The Doctors, Preston acknowledged that her son had autism and Kawasaki disease. She said that both she and her husband believed that certain chemicals contributed to their son's condition, a largely debunked hypothesis that still persists in some communities. When John Travolta was cast in the 2007 remake of Hairspray as Edna Turnblad, a role traditionally played by drag icon Divine, there was a huge backlash. Kevin Naff of the Washington Blade argued that Travolta has no business reprising an iconic gay role, citing Scientology's reported use of conversion therapy. Travolta defended his role in the remake by telling The Times, There is nothing gay in this movie. I'm not playing a gay man. Scientology is not homophobic in any way. However, the original Hairspray was written and directed by the openly gay John Waters, and as the Philadelphia Gay News suggests, the 1988 film is undoubtedly an ode to LGBTQ culture. Travolta also courted controversy for his depiction of an autistic man in The Fanatic. Many critics felt that Travolta's portrayal of an autistic man was offensive, which was made even worse given his son Jed's diagnosed struggle with the condition. I wish that Freddy Krueger would come and chop off your head! 
As two of the most powerful figures in Scientology, one could reasonably believe that John Travolta and Tom Cruise have a lot in common. Unfortunately for Travolta, it would appear that Cruise is more adept at reaching the higher echelons of the organization, which has created tension between the two. Sources have alleged that Travolta and Cruise have a significant rivalry. In particular, Travolta is allegedly jealous of Cruise and his preferential treatment within the organization. Former Scientologist Brendan Tye said that, Cruise is the only celeb with a direct line to church leader David Miscavige. Travolta and Christie don't have that. Subsequently, this has led to rumored animosity from Travolta. The Grease actor reportedly doesn't get anything free and has grown increasingly resentful of Cruz, who seemingly took his place as a favorite son of Miscavige. Ty also claimed that, It's no secret that Cruz and Travolta despised each other. Travolta wasn't invited to Cruz's wedding with Katie Holmes, it told me everything. Additionally, Travolta was allegedly extremely angry when Cruz was awarded Scientology's highest honor, the Freedom Medal of Valor. In 2017, Radar Online reported that John Travolta had been accused of sexually assaulting a 21-year-old masseuse in 2000, which led to a sexual battery lawsuit. The man alleged that Travolta made crude remarks and exposed his genitals during a massage. A second man claimed that Travolta attempted to have sex with him at a hotel in 2012. Travolta has denied the claims as baseless, and two of the alleged victims eventually dropped their lawsuits. There have been other accusations over the years, but to this point, they have remained unfounded. John Travolta had a complicated relationship with his former friend and Scientology celebrity liaison Spanky Taylor, who struggled to leave the controversial religion. Taylor was allegedly cut off from Travolta more than once, and the actor eventually quit communicating with her. In the book Going Clear, Scientology, Hollywood, and the Prison of Belief, author Lawrence Wright suggests that Travolta may have played a role in Taylor's ostracization. He wrote, She realized that she had been declared a suppressive person. Nobody had bothered to tell her. But from now on, no Scientologist will be allowed to talk to her. It's alleged that Travolta's passionate promotion of the organization has been instrumental in discouraging members of the church from leaving. Responding to criticisms of his religion, Travolta has remained evasive. In 2015, he did not plan to view the Going Clear documentary based on Wright's book. He told the Tampa Bay Times, I've been so happy with my Scientology experience in the last 40 years that I really don't have anything to say that would shed light on a documentary so decidedly negative. Instead, he said it would be a crime to speak negatively about his religion. We all remember Tom Cruise educating Matt Lauer on the so-called pseudoscience of psychiatric medication. Matt, Matt, you, you don't even, you're glib. You don't even know what Ritalin is. This is in line with Scientology's reported worldwide war against psychiatry, as outlined in a 2014 study. John Travolta agreed with Cruz's stance, telling W Magazine in 2007, I don't disagree with anything Tom says. I still think that if you analyze most of the school shootings, it is not gun control. It is psychotropic drugs at the bottom of it. In Travolta's case, his reported opposition to medication allegedly could have had dire consequences. The New York Post reported that Travolta's late son, Jet, may have been negatively impacted by his parents' possible refusal to give him medication. Instead, for his Kawasaki syndrome, Travolta and Kelly Preston allegedly sent Jet to detoxification, which involves saunas and dieting as a means of purification. According to a source for CBS News, Jet was initially on an anti-seizure drug, but his parents took him off it, supposedly due to the possibility of organ failure. But as The Atlantic argued at the time, if Jet Travolta's seizures remained untreated for theological reasons, the debate is just starting. When Kelly Preston died of cancer, some people speculated about whether she, too, had been denied life-saving drugs. Regardless, Travolta is known for his interest in alternative medicine. As Josh Brolin recounted to The New Yorker, Travolta allegedly once cured Marlon Brando's leg pain using psychic healing powers, an incident which Travolta's lawyer denied. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite shady celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.